into the confusion about the traffic study. And Mr. Slides, I want to thank you for explaining as well. I think this whole thing may have come to a much simpler conclusion if we had gotten copies of those letters. Yeah. Then, no. They were available for you and they were attached to the memorandum we sent to you. The letter, was, that was all given to you. <clears throat> Both letters, the one that came in, on October 2nd, you said? The October 2nd was the County Planning Board resolution. That was placed in all of your mailboxes. That's the, the County Planning Board resolution. And the information from the county regarding the, uh, the update to the traffic study, that was referenced in our memorandum to you, and that's been on file in Tracy's office for right. review. Right. You've, had, you've had both things. Okay. The, uh, the review done in 2000, was that attached to that as well? That was the 130 page document that we had on file in Tracy's office because we thought it would be maybe a waste of resources to do five copies of that. Right, you, you, you did say that, and I appreciate that. But I, I want to thank you for um, clearing it up because it makes it uh, easier to understand with um, simple feedback. I appreciate that. Um, I want to address um, that negative $42,000 on the uh, line items from the budget. And I did see that you um, gave us, Jean, a printout <coughs> of this account code 8A0304 and the, the items that cause a negative $42,000. And those are. Um, Kent Environmental Planning and Mark Russell and Associates and O'Brien and Gear Charges. And what is your plan to resolve this? And the only way to resolve it um, right now, if you wanted to do it, would to do an amendment for that, to take it out of you know, fund balance. We, you can also wait, and as we get closer to the end of the year, to see what we have left in those accounts, you know, in, in the accounts for that line item and you can mod money at that time. Well, they're all negative. Right, but if we have some accounts that say, don't spend all the money, and that does happen mm -hmm. at year end, as we get closer, we could mod some of those accounts' money out and into this one, which then would, you would forgo taking maybe all or some of the money out of the fund balance. I can do it either way. I think, I think it, that's immaterial because the money that is not spent reverts into the Correct. to the uh, reserve fund anyway. So it's it, a it, Well, it would go back to the fund back. Right. So I can do it either way. If okay. you prefer, I could do a, an amendment earlier, and, and we can just be done with it. If that's what you like, right. I can do that for the next board meeting, or we can wait. I, mean, I, 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 it's I think we, it's better to wait. It's better to wait. Yeah, I think it's better to wait. But I want to thank you for um, giving that to us. And the last thing I wanted to speak about is a letter that I received from um, Mr. Millett's lawyer concerning his tertiary. I, I have to strongly urge the board, because that matter is in litigation right now, I strongly urge you from discussing any aspect of that litigation in an open session. If you'd like to speak with it about your fellow, with your fellow board members in an executive think, session, I, I think, think that's far more appropriate. I don't want to talk about the money or uh, the uh, how this came about, I want to express my concern with delay. And I spoke about that before, and I want to say that I think we need to move forward. If we don't, as a taxpayer, not necessarily as a counselor, I do not wish to have negative consequences. And I want to strongly express that I think we need to move forward. No more delays. That's all I have to say. I would second that sentiment, by the way. 